In this video, we are going to cover the CBOE option chain menu item. But first, we're going to go to two external websites to show you where to get some data that you need. The first website is the CBOE.com website, the Chicago Board Options Exchange. From the main page, you click on Quotes and Data, Delayed Quotes, Download Text File. Enter the symbol for the option chain you want to download and click the download button. You want to save the file to a directory that you have already created on your computer. All the downloaded files are named quote data dot dat, so you want to change the name to the symbol of the underlying stock or ETF. The second website that you want to know about is iVolatility.com. You are going to use this website to get an implied volatility rank or implied volatility relative score. You have to sign up for a free account to use the service so take care of that first. On the top line enter the underlying symbol and click the go button. The information that you are going to want to use is over on the right hand side and it's called the 52 week high of implied volatility and 52 week low of implied volatility. These are the three numbers that you want to use. Current implied volatility and the 52 week high and 52 week low of implied volatility. Jot these numbers down somewhere because you, you'll be using them right away. Click on the CBOE option chain button in Option Master Chartist and open a CBOE file. When the file opens, you will see a list of all the calls and puts and leaps for the underlying being traded on the Chicago Board Options Exchange. You also get a little pop-up window called Volatility Rank, and this is where you enter the data that you just got from iVolatility.com. IVR, or Implied Volatility Rank, or Implied Volatility Relative, is a very important number because it plays a big role in determining what kind of option strategy uh, you should use. IVR deserves more attention than this, but if IVR is over 50, you want to be an option premium seller. And if IVR is less than 30 or so, then you want an option premium buying strategy. You can also get the current implied volatility percent from your broker's platform and from a few other places like uh, Yahoo Finance. The option chain is set up like a spreadsheet with columns and rows. Calls are on the left side and puts are on the right side. The column headings are the option symbol, the implied volatility for that strike price and expiration cycle, the delta, the bid, the mid price, the ask, volume for that day and open interest. The expiration date and the days to expiration and the strike price apply to both calls and puts. And the same information is in the same order for puts. You can sort the spreadsheet on any column. So the first thing we usually do is click on the call open interest column to get open interest sorted from high to low. Uh, you can see that the SPY has thousands or even tens of thousands of open interest contracts for dozens of expiration cycles and strikes. That is the ideal because liquidity is very, very important in option trading. If we open a different option chain file like Nugget, you can see that the call open interest numbers are much different. And along with the lower open interest numbers, you get wider spreads between the bid and the ask prices. The wider the spread, the lower probability of making money in that option series. You want to see open interest numbers of at least 500 for each option cycle deep into the scroll. If you do not see lots of open interest, you may want to consider a different underlying. You can also see right away which strikes and exp expiration cycles have the most open interest. You almost always want to pick one of the most active cycles in your strategy. You also want to sort by strike price. Scroll down to the at the money strikes 
and see which expiration cycles have the most activity and the highest or the tightest bid ask spreads. A quick glance at the implied volatility column will tell you if the market makers are expecting a greater than normal price move going into that expiration cycle. Upcoming earnings are the usual cause of a spike in implied volatility for a particular expiration cycle. To finalize your strategy, sort by days to expiration and start, picking, and start picking spread strikes from the delta column. This is just an overview of how to navigate around the CBOE options change. In subsequent videos, we will show you how to use this information to make smarter option trades.